Samsung's latest flagship smartphones, the Galaxy S24 series, are now available for pre-order, set to reach customers next week. While some have already pre-ordered, others are waiting for reviews to make an informed decision, particularly regarding the performance of the Exynos 2400 compared to the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 and the Galaxy S24 and S24+. Plus. A YouTube channel, NL Tech, has released benchmark scores and battery life figures for the Exynos 2400 variants of the Galaxy S24 and S24+. Plus. In Geekbench 6, the Galaxy S24 scored 2,131 points in the single-core CPU test and 6,785 points in the multi-core CPU test. The S24 Plus scored 2,139 and 6,634, respectively, while the S24 Ultra with Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 scored 2,289 and 7,123. In Antutu, the S24 scored 1,546,699 points. The S24 Plus scored 1,635,000. 230 and the S24 Ultra scored 1,766,906. Despite the Galaxy S24 Plus having a smaller vapor chamber for heat dissipation, it scored only 7% lower than the S24 Ultra. In the Solar Bay benchmark test from 3D Mark, testing ray tracing performance, the Exynos 2400 version of the Galaxy S24 showed better stability, 55.6%, compared to the S24 Ultra, 50.3%. In the 3 Mark Wildlife Extreme Graphics Performance Test, the Galaxy S24 scored 4,432 points, best, 2,348 points, worst, with 53% stability. The S24 Plus scored 4,322 points, best, 2,393 points, worst, with 55.4% stability, and the S24 Ultra scored 4,931 points, best, 2,423 points, worst, with 49.1% stability. All phones in the Galaxy S24 series, set to a 120Hz refresh rate and 100 nits peak brightness, showed improved battery life compared to their predecessors. The S24 lasted 13 hours and 50 minutes, the S24 Plus lasted 13 hours and 22 minutes, and the S24 Ultra lasted 15 hours. In summary, the raw performance of the Exynos 2400 processor is reportedly within a 10% difference from the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3. This suggests that Samsung has made significant improvements in the design and performance of its Exynos chips, making the flagship Exynos 2400 processor nearly as good as Qualcomm's best, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3. Thank you so much for joining me in this video. If you enjoyed what you saw, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button below. Peace out.